Hi guys, this is Sajna Binil and welcome to the Business Analysis Guide. In this video, we will learn the difference between functional requirements and non-functional requirements. Now we all know that requirements are describe the capability a system should have. So what are functional requirements? Well, functional requirements describe the data and behavior of the system. So the keyword is data and behavior. Look at the login screen here. Login screen shows you all the data fields that have to be captured from the user. It also shows multiple entry points for the user. User can enter the email address and password and login. You can log in through Google or Facebook. So, so your functional requirements will contain a mention of all these elements. That is the data of the system. What data should be captured from the user. Then comes the behavior. How the system should behave. So when the u once the user enters his email address and password and clicks on submit, what should the system do in the background? The system should check whether the account exists or not, right? And if the account exists, allow him to log in. Similarly, with respect to Google and uh, Facebook, it should check if the user has registered using his Google and Facebook account. And so this these are behaviors of the system. Your functional requirement all will also contain validations. Any validation that is required that like in this case uh, the, if the user is trying to log in using his email address and password he has to mandatory enter both the fields so he can't leave any of the fields blank these are functional requirements now what are non-functional requirement non-functional requirement are also called as quality requirements examples of these requirements are performance scalability browser compatibility device compatibility security so these are examples of non-functional requirements. So if your cu customer specifies that he wants the home page to load uh, in three seconds, it's a performance requirement and so a non-functional requirement. If you're developing a banking solution for a customer, it will, has to be in, on a very secure platform. So the security level for these kind of uh, applications is much higher. So that you have to define the security requirements for the application. That again becomes a non-functional requirement. And similarly, with the respect, similarly, if you're developing a web portal for a customer, which browsers the web portal should work with? Chrome, Safari, browser compatibility has to be defined by a BA. Non-functional requirements are very frequently missed out by the BAs. Why? Because BAs mostly focus on functional requirements. They keep thinking about the data and behavior and they miss out on the non-functional ones. Due to, which, when the, due to which when the application reaches the UAT phase, customers are relatively unhappy with the performance of the application or the security of the application or the compatibility given by the application. So, don't make that mistake. Keep in mind, non-functional requirements are also equally important as functional requirements. That's all for now. Take care. God bless you.